Hello guys, today I want to make uh, electrolysis of aqueous solution of copper sulfate. So here it is. Solution consists of water and copper sulfate. And as we know, we have four types of ions as a result of splitting water molecules to hydroxide ions in H+, and the dissolving of copper sulfate in the solution, which is copper plus two and sulfate ion. So how to make electrolysis and what are the components? So let's start with electrolysis cell, which consists of a electrolyte, which is copper sulfate solution, and here we have a graphite electrodes connected to the power supply or source of voltage, which is battery. As we know, the battery has positive and negative terminals. Okay, the positive terminals called anode, and the negative terminals called cathode. The process that takes place at the anode is oxidation. The process that takes place at the cathode is reduction process. So let's start with introducing you to the ions that we have here. As we know, the positive ions will go toward the negative electrode, and the negative ions will go to the positive terminal, which is anode. So here we have four types of ions. According to the rule here, we have no halide in the solution. I mean, there is no chloride ions, no bromide, and no iodide. So hydroxide ion will be oxidized to form oxygen bubbles. In here we have the oxidation equation that shows the oxidation of hydroxide ion into water molecules and oxygen bubbles. What about cathode? According to the rule, say, cathode has a reduction of element or ion that has less reactivity. So here copper is less reactive than hydrogen, so copper will be reduced. And here it is. But according to the half redox equations, the number of electrons transferred should be equal to the number of electrons gained. So we multiply this equation by two, forming the same number of electrons. And here it is. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments below. Thanks a lot.